So I probably should have started recording like days ago, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it now because today I found out some awesome news. Um, uh, Thursday, I, well, I came home from work Wednesday night and um, Thursday I woke up while well, I started coughing, you know, Wednesday night, but really that was like Thursday morning. Um, I woke up and I had a fever and this really dry, horrifying cough like sucks and I feel like shit like just you know achy and just feel super tired and um not really snotty but just I feel like shit so I um I told my boss I said hey I you know I'm not I'm not feeling well whatever I didn't have to work that day um I'm supposed to work Friday and Saturday um today's Tuesday by the way um March whatever I don't know what today's the 16th I had St. Patrick's Day um so I uh I made an online appointment through Oshner Anywhere Care, and um, I did a virtual doctor visit with a primary care doctor, and when he went over my symptoms, and I told him, I said, also, I have two autoimmune diseases. I have ulcerative colitis and sarcoidosis, and he said, well, yeah, you need to get tested. Um, so he did a referral for the, there's a testing facility over on um, Canal, and Jeff Dave, or can't even think anymore um on canal and Carrollton. so i went there on friday and at this point you go in friday what it was was you go in and you um the, you go in you put on a mask and they go they open the door you don't touch anything there they go in the door they put you in a room and then they get your phone number and they call you um on your phone from the front to get you all your information like they don't stay in the room with you and get any type of intake information they call you they don't want to be in the room with you which I don't get it I mean I I mean I'm sorry I do get I'm sorry I have a fever I feel like shit um and sleeping sucks um but they they come in the room only to swab you and they did at that point was um they did it in the nose and then they did it all the way back in your <coughs> <coughs> they did it um in your tonsils and stuff like a, for like a strep test and then they um just you have to go out you have to leave out the back door um and then they said oh we'll, we'll get, expect your results in like two to three days so I I let my coworkers know I let everybody know like hey I'm I just got tested I feel like shit like I'll let you know I'll keep you posted um what you know when I get the results back and the lady said well it was normally like 48 hours but give it like two to three days I said okay there's no number that you can call to find out any updates or anything they just say hey go home and we'll call you um fast forward to today Tuesday and I get a phone call today saying that oh hey fun fact your test results were faulty uh invalid so can you come in today again so we can retest you are you fucking kidding me um so she gives me a number and says okay well when you get here just call this number and we'll come out to your car you don't have to come in because i know you probably feel like shit whatever so i go there and i call the number she gave me and it's the number to Oshner Baptist the hospital across the city not even the number I need to talk to anyone at so the lady on the phone there gave me the number to the urgent care clinic that I was in the parking lot for called waited put on hold talked to somebody told them the lady's name that told me and gave me the number told them my sitch and they put me on hold and at this point, I'm like, I'm just going to walk into the place that I'm sitting in the parking lot for just to get this test so I can fucking go back home and get back into bed because I feel like shit. I'm sure I look awesome right now, too. I don't give a shit. But, um, so they, I, they, I got to talk to somebody and they said, okay, we're going to come out to your car, um, and do the test. And there was some other car in front of me that chatting with this guy outside and you know just and I wasn't trying to be an asshole but I feel like shit and I know that their job sucks too I worked in this I worked in the OR I worked in surgery I know healthcare is a bitch 
but I kind of just like stuck my head out my window and yelled with a mask on and was like, hey, can somebody come swab me so I could go the fuck back home? Because he wasn't, he was just chatting up with this dude outside. I was like, all right, I can't, I gotta go home. So this chick came up to the car. She's wearing PPE, but it looks like they're kind of struggling with their PPE gear, which understandable because, you know, the state of things. But, um, they, so she came out and she apologized and I apologized too. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Like, I understand. I, I, I'm really thankful that you guys are doing what you're doing, but I, I, please just swab me so I can go back home. Well, now, instead of doing the swabs, like, up the nose, up the nose, and the throat, like, however many swabs that was, like, two or three, whatever, now they just do it up your nose, but, man, it goes all the way back, like, it, it feels like they're stabbing your brain, which I get it, but they have to make sure they get enough of a sample, and that's what they did last time, they stabbed my brain, and, you know, punched my tonsils, so it's like, this, they're doing the same thing that they did before, but they're not, um, <coughs> 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 they're not um doing the throat one now so i guess i don't know if they're short on swabs or if this is just how they're doing the test now i don't know but um when i told the chick i was like oh can you just please like just, just do it and get it over you know i just and she was like well i feel bad that you've had since friday and you haven't heard shit so um she said she was gonna write stat on my test so maybe it might get back faster but faster than what last one was five days for me to find out that I nothing you know find out that my shit got fucked up so I don't know when but I will tell you for the past five days since Thursday my fever has not gone below 100 it's gone up to like 102 something but it just is I chow Tylenol constantly and it, it won't go below 100 so low as it goes um this cough sucks I've been chugging cough syrup, cough drops, you know, whatever, and that's all you can do, and I just sleep all the time, just, the air conditioner goes up and down, up and down, because I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, and just, you, I can't drink enough water, it's just, you're constantly dehydrated, um, your pee stays yellow, because <laughs> it's just not, you just can't stay hydrated to, for anything, um, and your chest hurts the whole freaking like my chest feels like somebody punched me like it just it hurts and like I when I went to leave to go to the testing site and I came back and we have two short flights of stairs I had to come upstairs and sit on the ground when I came in and just sit there because I could thought I was gonna fall out from just walking up the stairs like it's it you can't do anything I can only be up for like maybe an hour or two at a time and I can't do anything like I just you're so tired and fun fact is that I am quarantined inside of a quarantine because my boyfriend lives here too and we don't want him to get it if he doesn't have it already but he's not showing any signs so I've been quarantined to my bedroom for six days and that is y'all think it's bad being stuck in your house try and being stuck in one room for six days I, I feel like I'm losing my shit but I've watched everything possible every I'm still whatever I'm just tired um but I I hopefully once I get my test back if I ever get a test back and if it happens to be positive and whatever then they'll it'll be enough of an excuse that uh, my boyfriend can get tested because right now we're treating it like he doesn't have it and I have it but when he leaves here he's you know he's acting like he has it too so he basically just you know stays away and hasn't we actually he has an N95 mask um so we, you know, he just doesn't, we have rubber gloves, you know, we have other shit, so we're not hoarding anything, but we happen to have, like, a mask and some gloves, so, you know, he, he's just, like, staying away from everybody and not, you know, and around the house, like, I, we're, he's wiping, we have half a can of Lysol, <laughs> but, um, he's just wiping everything, there are certain spots that I touch that he doesn't touch, like, I have a lap sponge tied around stuff, like, door handles I don't touch any door handles I don't touch any door cabinets you know like we just don't touch the same things we don't drink out of the same water pitcher like everything in the fridge is separated things I touch things he touches like everything in the house separate toothpaste separate dental floss separate baby wipes separate everything but he's constantly wiping things down and hand sanitizing and I'm washing my hands even though I don't even know if I can't wash off virus because I have it but you know 
still hand washing and you know staying clean you know as clean as I can be but um it's it's quarantine inside of a quarantine it fucking sucks because I don't want him to get it if he doesn't have it um but I don't know all I'm saying is that this this blows the fact that I literally I I I don't even know what's happening right now like I I I mean I'm on Facebook and social media and look at the news to see what's going on out there but um just so you know just if you do get tested doesn't really mean that it's hopefully they have their shit together now and that you know you won't have to go through this shit because it sucks I I mean I've been say it's not getting better like I don't feel better it's been six days and I still feel like shit and it's not gotten it hasn't really gotten worse but it hasn't gotten better at all so um I hope y'all don't get it and good luck and just stay away from people and just y'all make this stop being so contagious and I don't know do what you can stay safe